Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, in one of my previous videos I have demonstrated how to perform a drag and drop files from for example Windows Explorer to uh, Listbox and uh, in this video we are going to demonstrate how to perform uh, drag and drop operations between uh, different components on the form. So in this case we have uh, uh, list box 1 that contains some items and list box 2 which is empty and what we want to implement is that we can drag and drop for example from list box 1 uh, to list box 2 so uh, drag and drop items right and then uh, drag and drop some items from list box 2 to list box 1 okay so how to do it well uh, first of all we need to say what are uh, draggable components uh, to specify that we need to change the drag mode property uh, to automatic uh, in this case we uh, specified that list box one can be dragged somewhere also uh, we'll specify the same thing for the list box two because uh, we want eventually uh, to drag and drop from list box two to list box one okay uh, the second thing is to uh, implement two events. Uh, let's choose the list box 2 component because uh, what I'm trying to demonstrate first is how to drag and drop from list box 1 to list box 2. And in list box 2, there are two uh, events that need to be uh, implemented. Those are drag over and drag uh, drop. So, uh, drag over. Uh, event is uh, used to specify uh, what sources do we accept uh, to, to uh, be used. So for example I'm trying to say here accept uh, if uh, the source is another list box. So I'm trying to say I don't want to accept any drag and drop unless it's coming from another uh, list box. In order to do that I need to check if that source is a list box and uh, how can I do that? Uh, well, I can simply try and uh, cast this source into uh, the list box by using a dynamic cast. Okay, so I'm trying to cast the source to a list box and if I cannot cast it as a list box then that means uh, that source is not a list box and uh, accept will be false, right? And if it's a list box, then I will accept drag and drop operation from that source. Okay, so that's the first thing um, to implement, drag over. Here we, like I said, we specified that we accept uh, another list box as a source. And the second thing that we need to implement is this uh, on drag drop operation and here we need to specify okay what happens when i uh, drag and drop uh, from another list box well what happens is uh, well in this case what we want is uh, we want to transfer the selected item from uh, list box one to list box two that's what we want uh, to do so um, i'm going to say list uh, box two uh, items add so what i'm trying to add is the um, selected item from the source and that source is the list box one so i'm just going to say something like this this is actually a list box one uh, items uh, strings uh, what string the selected string and uh, i'll get that selected string from item index okay and instead of actually uh, using a list box two, I can um, I can use sender here. So um, I can use sender here because uh, sender is list box two. And uh, once I have transferred that item into a uh, list box two, I want to delete it from the source. So I'll just say uh, this is the list box one in this case uh, items delete and i need to specify the index of uh, that item that i have transferred and uh, that's going to be uh, item index okay so let's try this so uh, i'm going to transfer number two here and as you can see, uh, 
uh, it appeared here in the second list box and it disappeared from the first uh, list box okay and each of the items that I uh, uh, drag and drop here is automatically uh, uh, in the list box too and now I would like to implement the uh, drag and drop from list box 2 to list box 1 and pretty much I need to do the same thing but uh, I can simply say uh, on drag and drop use the drag and drop uh, from uh, list box 2 and use uh, from uh, list box 2 so uh, why I can do that because if I open the code I have uh, never specified that I'm working here with list box 1 uh, or list box 2 okay I'm saying here sender this is the target and source is the source from which the drag and drop is coming and uh, now if we run this okay again I can transfer from this box 1 uh, to list box 2 but now I can return back from list box 2 uh, to list box 1 okay And that's pretty much uh, how it is. Uh, you can also uh, implement drag and drop between any uh, components on the form. But like I said, this is a three step uh, operation uh, which you need to follow is that you uh, set a drag mode to automatic uh, for the component that you want uh, to be able to drag and then uh, go to the source component that uh, uh, needs to uh, receive that uh, item and define on a drag over which will specify uh, what do you accept as a source in this case we accept only uh, another list box as a source and uh, implement uh, on drag a drop event which will specify uh, what happens actually when you drop from that source in this case we add a new item on a target and delete that transferred item from the source and like I said, uh, it really depends uh, uh, with uh, what kind of uh, drag and drop operation are you working with. Uh, you can also uh, add uh, edit uh, field and uh, transfer from uh, this edit to a list box or from list box to edit. Uh, it doesn't matter. Everything will function. So let's try and demonstrate. For example, if I'm uh, having this uh, edit here, I can say uh, on... Uh, on uh, drag over I will say I'll accept uh, the, on drag over from another list box and what happens is when I uh, do a drop is that I will uh, that is going to be edit uh, that is the target and that target uh, text is um, source uh, the selected item on the source uh, so let's let's try this um, and voila it works but if I try to drag and drop uh, from here, as you can see, I cannot. Uh, all I can do, for example, here is, um, in this case, I can say that this drag mode is automatic even for uh, edit one. But if I try to uh, drag and drop uh, to a list box, it is denied. It's not accepted because uh, we have specified this uh, on drag over which only accepts sources uh, from another uh, T list box components. And uh, well, that's how it's done. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon with another topic.